In response to a recession, a strict Japanese government introduces a game, Battle Royale, to control unruly youth. They randomly select a middle school class to participate. Shuya Nanahara, a student, is dealing with his father's suicide when his friend Yoshitoki Kuninobu stabs their teacher Kitano, leading to Kitano's resignation. Noriko Nakagawa, another classmate, secretly keeps Kuninobu's knife. A year later, Shuya's class is brought to an isolated island, where Kitano reveals that they're chosen for Battle Royale, a deadly game lasting three days until one winner remains. Students who don't comply or enter forbidden zones will be killed by explosive callers. They're each given food, a map, supplies, and a random weapon. Then Kitano kills two students, including Kuninobu, for disobeying his orders. In the first six hours, 12 students die, including four suicides. Matsuko Soma, a loner, and Kazuo Kiriyama, a psychopath, emerge as the most dangerous players. Shogo Kawada, a new student spares Shuya's life but kills another student, while Shuya unintentionally kills someone. Shinji Mimura, a basketball player enlists help to hack the computer system and disrupt the game. In the midst of changing loyalties and fights, Shuya promises to protect Noriko as Kuninobu loves her. They are saved from Mitsuko by Kawada, a past battle royale winner, who lost his girlfriend in the final round of the previous game. He joined the current game to seek revenge by winning and defeating the organizers. Kiriyama later attacks Shuya with his Uzi. Shuya wakes up in a lighthouse, bandaged by Yukie Utsumi. Five girls are also there, refusing to play the game. Yuko Sakari who saw Shuya unintentionally killed Tatsumichi Oki, tries to poison Shuya's food but Yuka eats it instead causing a group conflict that ends in a shootout. Yuko, who now feels guilty for her action jumps off the lighthouse ending her own life. Then Shuya, Noriko, and Kawada leave to find Mimura. Meanwhile, Kiriyama kills Mitsuko in a fight. Mimura and two others hack the computer system, but Kitano resets it. Kiriyama shows up and kills them. Then Mimura blows up the base with his bomb, supposedly killing Kiriyama and erasing all evidence. When the trio reaches the base, where Kawada engages in a shootout with Kiriyama, who survives the blast but is blinded. Kawada gets hurt by Kiriyama's Uzi, but he manages to detonate Kiriyama's collar. On the last day, the trio woke up on the beach. Kawada pretends to kill Shuya and Noriko, knowing their callers have microphones. Kitano, thinking Kawada won, brings him to the base. He discovers Kawada had hacked the system earlier proving Mimura's team was innocent. Shuya and Noriko, whose trackers were disabled by Kawada, reach the control room. Kitano shows a painting of the slain class with Noriko as the winner. He explains his resentment towards his students and his affection for Noriko who never disrespected him. He asks Noriko to kill him, but Shuya shoots him when he threatens them with a gun, which turns out to be a water gun. Kitano appears to die but answers a call from his daughter before succumbing to his injuries. The trio escapes the island by boat, but Kawada dies from his wounds. Later, Noriko gives Shuya Kuninobu's knife. The Japanese government labels Shuya and Noriko as fugitives, the last seen spotted running towards Shibuya Station in the early morning. In the end, Shuya dreams of Kuninobu encouraging him to move forward. Noriko recalls meeting Kitano for ice cream after the knife attack. When she reveals she has Kuninobu's knife, Kitano wonders what an adult should say to a child in such a situation. And here the movie ends. Thanks for watching.